Ira Wright. That's not your real name, right? How could you tell? <laughs> You're hiding some Judaism. My real last name is Weiner. It's Ira Weiner, and everyone, it's spelled the same as Weiner, and I just got tired of correcting people. So that's what led you to the path of comedy, being humiliated every day, first day of school. Is Ira Weiner here? And you are in the back. Weiner. My name's Weiner. <laughs> Who are you? I don't know. Who are you? Oh. What are you doing here? I was trying to help you. My character is Ira Wright. He works at a deli. He's kind of a struggling stand-up comic. That's what he wants to be. He's not that good at it. He's a pretty good writer, but not that great a performer. He lives uh, with two guys, Jonah Hill, Jason Schwartzman, and they're both much more successful, basically. Oh, hey, Mark. Could you do me a favor and never leave a paycheck from your shit sitcom on my pillow ever again, please? Oh, that is so rude of me to accidentally leave my paycheck for $25,000 on your pillow. Sorry. It's a dick move. And I, uh, I meet Adam Sandler's character and kind of get hired by him as his, uh, his assistant slash uh, Joe Kreider. The relationship between uh, Ira, played by Seth, and George, played by Adam, you know, it's based on how much I loved comedians when I, when I was young. And I was more like Ira. Ira. Oh. Daisy. Daisy. Hi. Hi. Ira. How are you? How's it Good. going? I actually have a cold, so I shouldn't. Oh. Uh, air shake. Uh. <laughs> this is a true story of me spilling the orange juice on the counter. Are like, you trying to look cool pouring orange juice? Not like cool, but I was like, hey, what's up? And then like Adam was talking to the girl, and then I came out and I like, poured orange juice, but I didn't think to hold the cup. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Uh, you need some help with that, Ira? No, no, it's, uh, it's okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Mmm. Joking. Oh, I'll get you a rag. Well, I'll be honest, a lot of the character, I, do, I am kind of doing an impression of Judd at times, I will say that. Or, or what I imagine Judd to have been like at, at, at like 19 years old. That's kind of, uh, you know. The <laughs> but I'm an okay looking guy, so I should do okay, you know. I mean, I'm not great looking, I'm not bad looking, I'm just good looking enough that if I had a good personality, that might make it so girls really like me, but I don't. So, um... What we're trying to do with Seth is show a person trying to figure out who he is on stage. And a little bit of the evolution of how you get comfortable just being yourself. This is a pretty big room. <laughs> a lot of people here. Ultimately, it's just you. And how can you, you know, shed everything else away and find some part of yourself to portray on stage. Thank you, thank you. I, uh, yeah, my friends are very, uh, they're very confident sexually, you know, they, they're so sexually confident, they will, they'll, they'll find a girl who has a boyfriend and that won't scare them. And I think I can't do that. I wish I could steal something from someone. So I think like, what am I good at? And I think like, I'm the best grandson in the entire universe. <laughs> so what I could do, I could steal your grandmothers from you. I will move in on that shit. She's not with the girls. She's with me. I played Mahjong with your grandma. And I let her win, because she likes that. Hey, Kurt! Uh -huh.